Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Now, if you're new over here, kindly subscribe the channel because it really motivates me to create more content like this. So let's directly get into the video. So in today's video, we are going to understand what exactly is Slack and how do we integrate Slack with Jenkins. Okay, so the OS we are using is CentOS. So the thing is, we already have a video on this channel for the Ubuntu, but for CentOS, this would be the first one. Okay, so before that, let us understand what exactly is Slack. So Slack is basically a collaborative tool. So there are multiple companies that do communication inside inside the teams, inside the organization using Slack. It's basically a messaging app for business that connects people to the information that they need by bringing people together to work as a unified team. Slack transforms the way that organization communicate. Okay, so you can feel more connected, flexible in an inclusive way. So this is what exactly we have. Okay. So uh, this is the official website for Slack, slack.com and there are the products, solutions, enterprise resources, pricing and all that stuff. So you have to have an email ID that is registered on this. Otherwise, you won't be able to proceed. So let's do that. What I'll just do is I'll sign up with Google and just going to ask. So I'll just give Logic Ops Lab. Something like this at rate gmail.com next okay so i have given the password i'll just do next so it has sent something on my mobile let me just check it and i just approved it so it has created my account confirmed as logic ops lab at rate gmail.com okay so you can uh, create a workspace if you want so click on that just give it a name uh, logic ops lab that's all or even you can give your name as well not an issue click on next if you want to add you can add it but uh, right now i don't want to add so i'll just skip this step skip step what's your team working on right now there could be anything a project or campaign let's say i'm working on ci cd pipeline Okay, so this is done. This is joined and these are the channels. So whatever I created is a CI CD pipeline channel. You can create a channel by clicking over here and this is a free version. So uh, it does not have a lot of features uh, like the premium version, but still it can help you to get the idea of what exactly is happening. Okay, so you can create a channel like this and description like this, but I do not want it because I already have created the channel okay so there are emojis over here if you want to talk to someone you can just do that or you can just type hi something like that so this is how it works okay now let's go to jenkins okay so if you go to manage jenkins and you go to global tool sorry manage plugins and go to available plugins type slack Sorry, install plugins and then you just type slack and you can see that slack notification plugin is already there so this is perfect you don't have to do anything else okay let's go back over here and then search for how to add apps to slack so i'll just google it out so add apps to slack okay let's do it right here so add apps to slack right click over here open let's see how it's done So there are ways that has been explained over here. So if you want to search, you can search it over here. For example, let's say if you want to search, these are the application that you can do it. Okay. So these are enterprise ready application working from home, zoom, daily call, essential apps, note and trustworthy, brilliant bots, something like that. So you can fix any of these if you want. So all you have to do is just type the name Jenkins over here and this Jenkins CI would pop up in front of you. Perfect. Add to Slack. Choose a channel. So this was the channel, right? This is done. So in your Jenkins dashboard, click on manage Jenkins in the left navigation. Click on manage plugins for the Slack notification in the available tab tab. So let's go over here, available, control V. So I cannot find anything of uh, Slack notification. Let me 
check again search for slack notification on the slack so i think it is not there because we have already done it okay perfect so that's done once it is installed click on manage jenkins again in the left navigation and then go and configure system find the global slack notifier section setting section and add the following values okay so this is what we have to do so i won't read it now uh, i'll just uh, do it directly if you want you can go and do it uh, by reading it okay so uh, let's go back here in the manage jenkins click on configure system and do control f and type slack over here this is slack okay so there you have to fill the details so what was your workspace name workspace name was logic ops lab lab how does it come from where does it come from i'll show you it comes from okay i'll show you later but as of now you can remember this copy this value you will need this in future and keep it safe somewhere so i'll just open it and keep it safe in my notepad somewhere so i just copied it okay this will be useful later after that go back credential so you have to have a credential for that so we'll do this setting later let's go back over here let's see if we want to do anything else okay this token is very important you can even regenerate it if you want i'll just copy this this is useful in the future so i'll just save it over somewhere saving it you can also keep keep it okay so this is done list everything is fine just save the settings for now and let's see how it goes okay so this has to be added so just click on add click on jenkins go over here secret text okay and this secret text is the one thing that you copied from there yes you remember it right the token i'll just pasted it give it any id i'll give slack token and the slack token that's all i guess uh yeah add it and now if you select this this will come over here okay so this should be done and default channel is channel is something that you want so this is the channel ci cd pipeline so ci cd pipeline this is perfect and i think that's that should be all okay so just test the connection now and it will test now that's a failure so you just have to check how the failure is happening and uh, if until and unless it's green you cannot use it okay okay so as you can see on my screen that i was facing an issue so what i did is i just created a new workspace so how you can create it click on click over here and then add workspace switch workspace or you can just create a new workspace okay so try to uh, create a new workspace if you are f uh, failing uh, in in attempt of an connect in attempt of a connection and then uh, create a new channel over here ci cd pi hyphen pi pipeline is what i created and after that once you do it uh, you'll be having a slack notification thing over here just copy this and paste it over there so that's what i just did slack token is the new one which i just added this is this and let's just test it now so you can see it's successful over here once this is done everything is perfect okay so now what you have to do is you have to add a new step over here so this is done over here i'll just hit enter control v so i think this should be good post always echo slack notification slack channel is what you have to change so what we did is ci cd hyphen pipeline was the one and then a uh, color you can change if you want anything else that's all so let us see whether everything is perfectly all right or not so this is getting closed over here this is getting closed over here this is getting closed over there okay this is perfect now for this this is getting closed over here this is getting closed over here so i think this is extra so we can just remove this okay so i think this should be good uh this one is getting closed from this is a yellow one 
I think we don't need this. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't need this. Perfect. So this should be all. Now let us just save it. Commit adding slack steps. Commit sync the changes. It will go there. Go back over here. Click over here and click on build now. And let's see what happens. So let's go into the pipeline. So it has failed. Go to console output. Expected this. I think we have missed one. Okay, so I placed it at wrong place. This shouldn't be here. This has to be here. Yeah, this is perfect. Error fixed. That's all. Commit and just push the code. Once this is done, go back to your pipeline and click on build now. This time it should be fixed. So that's it has been started. And right now we have only one, two, three, four, five, six steps. This would be the seventh step. So let it happen. And uh, I think we are we are not using this. We don't need this. We don't need this. Just save the settings. This is perfect. And you can see that it has got the notification that Slack Jenkins plugin you are all set. It means that our Jenkins app was able to make a contact with CACD pipeline channel. Okay. So this is running and this has failed. But post declarative action is fine and showing failed. So let's see what went wrong over here. Go to dashboard. It is showing failed. But failing for what? Let's see. Console output. Missing property, no such color map for groovy land binding. Okay, so we have to fix that. So if you want to understand this, this current build and current result, you can go to this website in which kbnovaordis.com and this current result and current build would be provided with an explanation what exactly it is. So these are the things that you need to understand in or if, if you are using it like display name, full display name, project name, properties. So if you type current, so current build is this overview is a global variable that may be used to refer currently running build current build is this current result, which we are using this. Let me close this script build pipeline display name full display name this is something like that so that's you need to understand okay so i hope you have understood this part so whenever you're trying to use color map you have to define it over somewhere i forgot to define it so at the top just go over there and type def color map so this was the one right inside that you have to define what exactly you are using so uh, if your build fails then type failure failure over here and then it has to come like this this has to go equal to you can write anything like danger or something and then after that if your build is passing then you have to write success so i think you have to use a comma over here this should be perfect and then this should be good okay i think that would be all because we have already defined it at the down let's save it adding color underscore map that's all click on commit click on sync changes okay perfect so this should go i hope this doesn't come now let's go back over here and let's just build it. So everything should be fine. And uh, what just happened? Did it fail? Failure equal to danger. Okay, so this is, I'm really, very sorry, my bad. I just copied it. It has to be adding a colon. Sync the changes. Let's just go over here again and let's just build this now. Please, please be successful this time. 
Okay, so it has triggered it. So the first step is done. Second step is done. Third step is done. Let's see what is happening over here. Did we see any message over here? No, we haven't. Let's go back over here. Going to check style analysis, going to upload artifact, going to post declarative action. So this is where it failed last time, right? I mean, it passed, but it was not able to make a contact. Perfect. So this has passed. Let's go back over here and you can see this is a success job. CI pipeline build 37. More info at this and this has come over here, which means the integration is perfect. And now Jenkins is able to make a contact with Slack and everything is all right. So that's how you integrate it. So um, in this whole project, we have faced a lot of difficulties and uh, we have uh, learned a lot. Um, I have faced a few errors here and there and then learned them how to resolve. And this is good. This is good experience because every time you see a tutorial from someone, he'll, he or she'll just tell you like this is this happy path. Life is not exactly a happy path when, when, when it comes to DevOps. There is a lot of firefighting happens. There is a lot of issues that come and you have to resolve them at the real time. Okay, so I'm glad that I have faced these issues and so that I know like what could go wrong. Okay, so I hope you folks have understood this. If there is anything, feel free to comment down below. I will address that. So thanks guys and I'll see you in the next one.